inquiète mon silence Crois-moi, tu n'as plus de recours My husband's a consummate professional and I trust him totally. You see, her husband is a plastic surgeon. He's redone her breasts and her nose. Corinne Corbin met her future husband, Dr. Frederick Corbin, when she came to him as a patient with a medical problem. I had my breasts done and I was unhappy with the result of one of the breasts. It was asymmetrical. Dr. Corbin redid her breasts and later they were married. After she went to work at his office, her husband diplomatically recommended another surgery. He said, I, I don't want people to think I did your nose. He said, because it looks very done and uh, aesthetically it's very unattractive. Her nose had been done before they met and she admits she wasn't happy with it. So her husband well, fixed that too, making that the second plastic surgery he'd done on her. What makes all these women happy is their easy access to regular non-surgical beauty maintenance. Hey, I've got Botox and collagen in my fridge right now. Corinne uses both. Poverty looks the same throughout the world. Only, as I put it, the letters on the signs as you drive down the road are different. But the shanties and the lack of refrigeration with the produce hanging up with flies around it are the same everywhere. Because it was a Spanish-speaking country, I brought two of my employees who were fluent in Spanish, one a nurse, the other a scrub tech. So they were extremely useful, um, both not only providing assistance to, to me, but to, to the other doctors and people there. Very good trip. So it's very good for my staff and my wife as well. You know, the main reason for going down there is to, to, to do cleft lip and palate repairs. And of course, we did a lot of those. But you, you see a lot of post-traumatic, post-burn injuries that would benefit from skin grafting or flap rotation. Beverly Hills Plastic Surgeon. Her wife is working with me, thank God. Hola. So what happened to this young boy? His brother said uh, the mattress is on fire with the plate mattress. And seven years ago, we did the, one of the oh, first surgeries. Okay. This, is the this is the center of the lip. That's this. The repair that I will do will turn this under and use it as mucosa. And then you got to get this to come up there. That's the hard part. And this is for plastics. And that would be Dr. Corbin. Hey, Dr. Corbin. Oh, well, to recover. Oh, big baby. That's the family. Ah, still here. Bye. Into recovery. One of the reasons I became a plastic surgeon is the 
to uh, help improve the self-esteem of individuals, well, this is a way that I can improve my own self-esteem by feeling good about what I'm doing. You know, the great feeling of having a mother whose child was born with a cleft lip and palate, whom I repaired, um, and see the joy in her eyes. It's almost as if she's looking at her child for the first time. Let me